COSM continuing on that sideways teeth grinding price action, right? Let's go ahead and figure out what is happening within the charts and see if we can gain an edge for tomorrow's session. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a COSM technicals and raw price action thread of analysis on this fine hump day Wednesday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called RCAB. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts. Okay, so we're looking at COSM on the daily chart here, and this is particular to the statistical uh, analysis that we had performed. And as you can see, momentum is continuing to the downside like we were talking about with that over and over, pump and up and down within that same range, still doing what we were uh, implying. Uh, so... If there could be some type of uh, move to the upside, oh man, uh, I certainly hope that it can happen after the CPI report, which would be uh, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, indecision in the markets solely based on that, right? So we want to see that the Fed comes in, uh, hopefully with a 6.5, uh, with you know, by the expectations. Uh, a lot of people don't think that's going to happen, so this could be the largest bull trap ever in the overall markets. So. Uh, hopefully the pressure from the longs losing on their major positions on the broader markets can actually force them to close their short positions or cover their short positions within COSM for a move to the upside. So uh, everything is very much uh, every everything is pretty much uh, within uh, the gra the grace or the the sympathy of of the Fed or uh, the data coming in for the CPI, right? So let's go ahead and now move on to the next chart. Uh, so yeah, this is this is a continuing on that broadening descending wedge that we've been talking about literally forever, right? So <laughs> this is the candle that we looked at today, or that we printed today. Um, it is a uh, it is still in the shape of a spinning top doji. Would really like the body to be a little bit smaller, right, to be considered a true spinning top doji, but it pretty much is. Um, and as you can see, the lows that we tested today are actually very much in confluence with the lows that were tested on December 30th, uh, daily candle. So, and uh, we've recovered and came right back up, just like just like we have. But there could be some continuation to the downside if it is that the that the reports, you know, do something psychologically to this. But let's go ahead and uh, so, so I, what I'm saying is just. Please be very careful here, okay? So if you if you do have some longs and they're in profit already, um, you know know that I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment, as I can't suggest for you to buy or sell any assets, okay? So please be very careful. Do your own DD and everything will be just fine, you guys. So take this take this into high consideration, okay? Because if this continues to the downside, I gave you I already gave you the backup uh, the backup. Uh, support level, right, which would be between about three dollars and sixty-seven cents at the one spot six one eight, to just about four dollars and one cent. Okay, so that's a bit, that's an important area for us to consider. So let's just look at let's see where we are. Uh, okay, so four twenty-eight was the we're at four twenty-eight in the after hours or right, in the post market, right? So okay, still very, very relatively close to where we are. Um, okay, yeah. So just in case that there are. I, I actually wouldn't bag hold beyond this point here, okay? So uh, sometimes it's better for us to just take the take the loss and um, and uh, move on to a better play or, or, or a better setup, better set. Okay, so yeah, in this case, I am also still long this. Uh, so <laughs> I've already averaged in and we're getting really close. We're getting closer and closer to the continuation of testing this resistance right now. So we really do need to convert this resistance into support before we can come back and test it before we can actually make that upside move, right, you guys? So now uh, let's go ahead and look at the RSI, okay? So we can look at, we can see some immediate upside movement on the 30 minute, okay? So as we have crossed above the 14 day moving average, looking very bullish, very good. Okay, so another thing is, is that now that we have the 14 day moving average, which is represented by this pink line, the RSI signal purple line could actually come back down and find support from both the gravitational pull area from the bear strength percentile, uh, where we usually find that pull back into the prior zone, right? Just like, just literally like all this that's been happening, okay? This is, oh, <laughs> I've been talking to you about this sideways trading since, since I don't know when, it's been, it's been a while. So yeah, we can literally face this over and over and over again, okay? We're, like I've said before, we're, we're stuck in this weird limbo, 
Okay, so now the buy hourly time frame is suggesting uh, an upside as well. But again, again, we do have that 14 day moving average above us. We're in that gravitational zone. We're going to go ahead and get pulled right back in and then fail this again seeing that that's literally the game that we've been playing for so long okay just sideways trading it's insane okay so uh and uh here's another iteration of sideways trading on the six hour time frame uh you can see that we were trading sideways then we attempted to break out of it 14 day moving average didn't allow that we're now back into that uh we're back into that deep area of the bear weakness percentile and now we're about to hit this resistance again on the on the 14 day the 14 day moving average is actually giving us a type of a slightly bearish price action here so we can absolutely face this as resistance unless some type of event happens to where we can encourage buyers to come in and step in take this to the next level right so we're getting another hint from the daily time frame here slightly bearish slightly sideways this is still this is still in that in that uh, limbo, you guys. So uh, buy daily is giving us a little bit of a hint that there's still a continuation to the downside. The the RSI signal is slightly bearish, but mostly sideways. It's just uh, man, it, all of it is literally cloudy with a chance, right? So uh, no pun intended. So yeah, you guys, I, I would I would express uh, I would express some 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 urgency with your with your longs okay just make sure that you are protected make sure that you just don't bag hold this okay if there is a if you're going to encounter a little bit of a loss here and there then uh, maybe consider that as the losses can increase okay be very careful with this with this uh with the price action within cosm but something tells me that maybe cosm is just going to either explode to the upside or the downside whenever it decides to right so be very careful with this, you guys. So I, please know I'm not a financial advisor again, okay? Just take whatever I do show and iterate within this video as just entertainment. Again. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, um, yeah, that, that's uh, seeing that the... CPI data still needs to be released. That's all I'm really seeing for for COSM. Okay, so all right. So I, I think this is a pretty good place for me to leave off the video. Go ahead and uh, refer to the links in the description below if you want to go ahead and join the RCAP trading community or visiting me on Twitter. Okay, have a good night uh, and a, re a good rest of your afternoon. And we will actually talk to you manana. Adios.